Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fan went back to Lee Center offering convenient, affordable chiropractic care. Today's Thursday, last day of the week for you to get in for your treatment in our office. We're here from 9 to 12, 3 to 6. Um, you can call ahead for an appointment or you can just drop on in um, and we'll take care of you as soon as possible uh, once we take care of everyone ahead of you. Uh, beautiful, another beautiful day. We haven't had much rain, uh, lots of sunshine, which is awesome for getting out and biking, walking, uh, spending time with your family, doing things that you love. Today we're going to talk about an issue that comes into my office frequently uh, and it's a patient that comes in and tells me they either have lower back pain or hip pain or both. Uh, sometimes they'll even point to their, their um, lower back and it's actually their hip or vice versa. So as a practitioner, it's sometimes challenging to discern if the problem is actually in the lower back or in the hip. And the reason being is because the symptoms, um, the areas of complaint can kind of um, be the same. In other words, somebody can have pain into their groin or their leg or their hip and it could be coming from their lower back. Or it could be the actual problem in the hip. What's even trickier is it could be a problem in both areas. So what I do is I typically do the examination. Uh, we check range of motion of the lower back, range of motion of the hip. We check the strength of the hip muscles of the lower back. Uh, we do some orthopedic testing. We check their posture, their alignment. And a lot of times um, it is in the lower back, in fact, um, but sometimes it's in the hip or sometimes it's in both areas and it becomes very challenging. The ultimate way, if I am totally unsure and I'm not, one, I'm not leading in one direction, is to get an x-ray. I mean, an x-ray, we can look at the bone structure, we can look at the joint space, the cartilage, and see if there's any diminishing or deterioration of those areas. Uh, and sometimes we send the patient out for x-rays uh, and we find that they have arthritis in the hip, arthritis in the back, or both. Um, and then we have to treat both areas. But most of the time, um, upon my examination and doing a treatment or so in the office, I'm able to discern what the area is and we're able to fix them up pretty quickly. Um, but just keep in mind that the problem in your back or hip could be uh, one and the same. Um, it could be an isolated area or it could be both. Uh, so always, we always make sure that we check the whole body the, check out the lower back and the hip for function, for structure, and make sure things are in proper alignment and moving properly. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. If you like the video, please click like, uh, comment on it, share it. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support. Uh, again, we're here from 9, 12, 3 to 6. Come on in and we will take great care of you. And I hope you have an awesome day and we'll talk to you next time. So long.